Ciao a tutti! Hi everybody! This is Pencil Tree speaking <laughs> and wow it has been a long time since I actually had the chance to do a decent video <laughs> or a voiceover for what matters but uh, okay I, I made it up now <laughs> with these. Uh, this will be actually a commentary of a sketch dump that I made and I am quite glad that I could uh, go back and sketch sketch just uh, just just free my mind from every work and everything just sketching I just felt the urge to do that and so I did I finally could put my work to a side and stop um, and just stop and sketch it was something that I needed to do and, and I am so happy that I could do that finally this first sketch I am just drawing Shane as a um, young uh, adolescent like 14 or uh, actually 13 maybe uh, around that age just sitting uh, next to a river just uh, dipping his feet into the, the water just having a good time uh, these big sideburns that you see now <laughs> I actually I, I'll erase them because I figured it out later that as a young boy he wouldn't have such big sideburns as he has as an adult so I later on get rid of those. Uh, excuse me if mm, last Saturday I wasn't able to upload any video but my connection was kind of low even my streaming was at its best, my streaming on, on Twitch wasn't at its best. Um, so I just couldn't um, upload uh, any video, but as I said earlier, I am making up with this uh, commentary and the sketch dump, which I really really liked. Uh, I enjoyed that. I think I just <laughs> I said that already, <laughs> but yeah, I really enjoyed doing that. I, just that, and I hope you enjoy watching watching this. Uh, too. Um, yeah, uh, I actually thought about becoming a better YouTuber recently because I know I am not very funny to look at or listen at because just like the main thing is that English is not my first language and I know it's not an excuse but I am not as funny in English as I could be in my native language of course um but yeah i am working on making that better and hopefully in the future i will be funnier to listen to and to watch for this second sketch i actually um drew this scene and this was requested to me by my friend Delta Mimi, not this scene in particular but uh, this uh, actual um, interaction that she wants to see more of um, Shane's bigger brother Breen and, and him interacting as, as silly bros and so I, I did it. Um, I did the scene where uh, Brin is going to prank for Shane by putting a bug inside of uh, his, his uh, shirt while he's talking to his friend. Uh, to his friend, uh, oh, what's her name? Uh, she bail. She bail? Yes, <laughs> darn Irish names. <laughs> yeah, it's she bail. <laughs> Just. Putting, pulling aside with magic uh, Shane's, uh, his brother's hair delicately, delicately, I can do it. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure if I can do it, but okay, you got me. And he will slide that bug into his shirt. Let me know in the comments down below how would, uh, would have you react to a, a prank like that, because to me, uh, that would be a one ticket, uh, one ticket ride to death, certain death, because I am super scared of bugs. Like it's something I can't control, 
and oh boy, if Breen actually um, pulled that kind of prank on me, he would be dead. <laughs> By now, let me know how you would have reacted to, to that kind of prank. Also, I want to take this occasion to thank all of the people who have supported me uh, financially uh, during this period, during all of October actually, uh, by mm, buying uh, all of my adoptables and people who commissioned me. You guys are the best because you actually helped me paying my therapy, which is something really important for me. And if you want to give me a health, a financial health or support uh, me as an artist, uh, you can do so by buying me a coffee or subscribing to my Patreon page, which for now is just a, a bit slow, but I um, figured out how to use the, both of them. And my Patreon page already has like um, a few content that are not visible uh, in general in other socials which you can find me in other socials you can find me on, on instagram facebook and deviantart and um, also mm, also tumblr but tumblr is kind of dead i mm, i don't i don't advise you to go there because my i don't use my tumblr and uh, i am on uh, a twitch too i stream every um every Friday, um, so if you'd like to follow me on Twitch too on my live streams, we can have a good time and just a chat while I draw something. <laughs> just uh, you're welcome on my Twitch and you're welcome everywhere. I always put the links for following me on social medias uh, down below, but this time I will add a new um, link, which is uh, the link to the Circus Diabolique Discord server. If you have a Discord server and you'd like to enter the Circus Diabolique uh, community, uh, by all means, please do. I'll, I'll leave the link to join uh, down below there. You can share your art and you can make friends with others and we can have a good time there too as well um, just remember to be friendly to others and i'll see you there hopefully for the third sketch uh, i decided to draw a scene out of uh, the graphic novel itself so it's a scene that it is present in the script of circus diabolique and it's actually um, a scene where uh, shane and his biggest brother um, ronan are making fun of breen because he snores during the night and so um, breen tells Shane, oh, look who's talking, uh, uh, you, with, with your laughter, and Shane goes like, I don't know what you're talking about, and <laughs> so Breen goes like, um, on an attack mode and just tickles, tickles him to make him laugh, and so you'll see that he 
uh, Shane has this uh, snorting laughter, which I find uh, outrageously adorable. <laughs> and, uh, first, one of the first things that I thought about Shane while creating him was, yeah, this character is going to have a snorting laughter. How cute would that be? <laughs> And so I am sorry, Shane, but you lost. You've lost this. <laughs> Your argument is invalid. You also have a kind of pig-sounding laughter, so you snore as well. Brain is this sort of person that will pull your, your leg and um, always uh, prank on you, but he actually is a good guy. Uh, he shares a good relationship with Shane and they don't hate each other. They have a, a kind of brother, bigger brother and little brother relationship and nothing more. It's very simple like that. They love each other, but of course they will fight for uh, from time to time. <laughs> Moving on to the fourth sketch, here I am drawing another request from Delta Mini and she requested a scene, an interaction actually, between Dorian, the vampire of Circus Diabolique, and Shane uh, interacting and they have this kind of um, rival, rivalry thing, they are rivals. Uh, because um, Dorian is uh, Nicola's uh, boyfriend, but he's not a very good boyfriend. Uh, so actually, uh, Shane, Shane falls in love with Nicola. And yeah, Dorian is not very, very happy about it, especially since Nicola uh, seems to not like him back. But, you know, um, I like him. Uh, like uh, I like him as a person and he doesn't like that uh, because Dorian knows it's not a the, the best companion ever and so he fears that uh, so the, the sketch though that you're actually seeing uh, I'll, um, I'll erase it um, I'll erase it because I didn't like the way the shape was uh, coming coming out it was very uh, messy and it wasn't the, the silhouette wasn't clear and so this this will go away in a few moments <laughs> to me to, to act, there there it goes and to uh, make make room for a better uh, looking uh, sketch a clearer sketch with a clearer silhouette and uh, a, a better in in a few words it's better sketch it's better drawing
I kind of didn't like how Shin's legs were positioned, so um, I ended up changing them, changing the position of his legs as well for the better, of course. And uh, here I made actually mm, um, Dorian float because he can, since he is a vampire and all, uh, to look much more threatening towards Shane because Shane is uh, a pretty tall guy and Dorian is too, but mm, Dorian is uh, much buffer than Shane. Shane is uh, actually very skin, skinny, sorry. Um, and so he floats over him to make himself look even taller than him and to be as threatening as possible and I changed also his hair I I drew his hair like there they were floating too to give like him this sort of uh, powerful Oh, aura or something that makes him even scarier and I ended up even um, erasing his pupils so that he would look even more scary so here I am just drawing in his shoes just decided that he, he was going to float There's the air, the floating air, and the eyes without pupils. For the final sketch, of which I edited only the final process, because I did a live stream of it just yesterday, I decided to draw the Sunday prompt of a Discord server I am a member of. The prompt wanted two characters to be drawn in a very specific position, which you saw there for a few seconds, but it looked just too stiff and harsh to me, and so I ended up changing it a little bit, putting it in a contest. So here we have Shane as a child of 5 years old and his oldest brother Ronan at his 20s. <laughs> as a kid, um, Shane was a bit of a scaredy cat and Brin used to pull his leg by telling him scary stories, <laughs> which often ended up in a situation quite like this one where Shane seek protection from Ronan, who was just peacefully cleaning his flying room there. Ah, the life of the oldest brother. I know, Ronan, it's hard.
there you have it, the final product. I want to announce that there will be a video in Italian about Circus Diabolique. Uh, the reason is uh, I want also my people to know about this and um, this project that I am working on. But fear not, the, there will be subtitles for that as well in, in English. Well, uh, thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And we'll see you again, hopefully next Saturday. Bye bye.